By the end of this video, you'll be able to make your own virtual joystick and joy button without downloading any asset from the asset store. So to do that, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button and bell icon to never miss the latest videos and then download this project if you want to follow along step by step. But if you are trying to make it in your own project, then let's get started. So first of all, you need to create your UI image. So right click in the hierarchy and in UI click on image. Now rename this image to joy button, put it in the corner that you like and adjust to the scale that you like. Now in its source image, drag and drop your image that you have made for this button. Now make a duplicate of this joy button and rename it to joystick background and drag it to the other corner and scale it to the size that you like. And then add an image that you made for this joystick background in the source image. Now let's make a UI image which is going to be the child of our joystick background and call it joystick. Then drag and drop this image in the source image section and now we are ready to code. Now first of all we will be making a joy button script so go to joy button image and click on add component and then add a joy button script. Now in visual studio first of all remove this and this. Now at the top write using unity engine.ui and using unity engine.event system. Now here next to mono behavior write comma eye pointer up handler and eye pointer down handler. Now as you can see it shows that something is wrong when I wrote these two handlers so hover your mouse over them and click on show potential fix and click on implemented interface. Do the same to this as well and you can see there are two functions here. Now what this two function does is that this on pointer down function will execute whenever you are clicking on the joy button and the on pointer up function will execute whenever you stop clicking on the joy button. So to see if it works or not in this on pointer down write debug.log is pressing and in this on pointer up write debug.log has stopped pressing and save this script. Now when you hit play and click on the button you can see it is printing is pressing in the console when you are clicking on the screen and it prints has stopped pressing in the console when you stop clicking on the screen. So now in our joystick background at the top right public boolean is pressing. Now hide it in inspector because we don't want to edit this value from the inspector. Now in our on pointer down function write is pressing is equal to true and in our on pointer up function write is pressing is equal to false. And save the script and this is all we need to do now we can actually just set this button up in our player movement script or any controller script that you have so just open that controller script that you have and first of all make a reference to the joy button by writing private joy button script joy button and add a serialized field in front of it to show it in the inspector now in the inspector you can see an empty field for the joy button script so drag and drop your joy button image in this empty field because our joy button script is in this joy button image. Now I am going to use it in my shoot function but if you have any other function you can use it in that. Now in my case this is the code that makes the player shoot and I just have to write or joystick dot is pressing inside the A function which means if we press the space key or the joy button then this code will be executed. Now save the script and hit play in unity and you can see if I click on the button then the player shoots bullets. This is all we have to do to set up our joy button so if you have any problem with joy button then please let me know in the comment section down below. Now let's write the code for our joystick. So in our joystick background image click on add component and then add a joystick script. Now open that script and in this script we will do the same thing that we did in our joy button script. So remove this and this and then add using unity engine.ui and using unity engine.event system and then here write i pointer up handler comma i pointer down handler and here we'll add one more thing that is an i drag handler. Now again it shows that something is wrong so hover your mouse over them and click on show potential fix and click on implemented into. Now this new function on drag executes when we are dragging our mouse or finger on the joystick background. So we are going to use this to make our joystick work. So now first of all we need to make a reference to our joystick background and joystick image. So write private image bg image and private image joystick image. And in our start function write bg image is equal to get component image. This will help us get the image component that is in our joystick background. But to get the image component of our joystick image, 
which is a child of our joystick background, we have to write joystick image is equal to transform dot get child and in here we have to write the index of the child object and because there is only one child object in this joystick background so write index is zero so transform dot get child zero dot get component image now this will get the image component of our joystick image to see if it works or not write debug dot log background image and debug dot log joystick image and save it and when you hit play you can see it prints the name of this background and joystick image now back in unity in our on drag function write vector2 pause is equal to vector2.0 and float bg image size x is equal to bg image dot rec transform dot size delta dot x and float bg image size y is equal to bg image dot rec transform dot size delta dot y you will soon know why we wrote this but for now just follow along now there is a long if statement we have to write so write if and inside the bracket write rec transform utility dot screen point to local point in rectangle and inside another bracket first we need to tell the computer where exactly we can click and that is our background image dot rec transform comma now we need to know where exactly we have clicked in the background image for that write event data dot position so the event data knows where we have clicked on the background image comma now we need to know which camera is active when we clicked on the joystick so to know that write event data dot press event camera and finally we have to return a vector to local point so write out post so in short what this if statement is saying is that if we click inside the background image then this if statement will be executed so in this if statement write position x slash equal to background image size x this calculates the ratio of where exactly we have clicked in our joystick background image on the x axis and again write position y slash equal to background image size y now this is the same as the above script but on the y axis now this position dot x and position dot y is going to be our input direction so at the top right public vector 2 input direction and inside curly bracket right set get now when we start our input direction should be 0 so in the start function right input direction is equal to 0 now in our if statement right input direction is equal to vector 2 and inside the bracket right pose x comma pose y and to check if it works or not let's move our joystick image that we have by writing joystick image dot rec transform dot anchored position is equal to new vector 2 input direction into background image size x comma input direction into background image size y now save it and when you hit play you can see it works but there are like three problems here Problem number one, the joystick only works when you click and drag on the joystick background. And we want it to work when we click on the joystick as well. So in our script, in our on pointer down function, write on drag and inside the bracket, write event data. Now save it and hit play and you can see first problem is solved. Problem number two, the joystick image does not reset like an actual joystick. So to fix that, just go to on pointer up and write input direction is equal to vector 2.0 and joystick image dot rec transform dot anchored position is equal to vector 2.0 now when you save the script and hit play you can see the second problem is also solved now problem number three our joystick image can be taken everywhere and we just want to confine it in this area now to fix that problem first of all we have to normalize our input direction so here write input direction is equal to input direction dot magnitude is greater than one question mark input direction dot normalize colon input direction now this is a ternary operator which is basically an if statement written in one line and it says if input direction dot magnitude is greater than one then input direction will be normalized otherwise nothing will happen okay. now this input direction property which is our which is our joystick input should only store a value from minus one to one on the x and y axis but if you comment this code and here write debug.log input direction and save the game and when you hit play you can see when we move this joystick button the direction value is greater than one which we don't need that so when you write this code and save and hit play you can see the input value doesn't go more than one 
Now we only want this joystick image to go till here and for that you just need to write at the top public float offset and divide this and this value with our offset. Now in the inspector adjust the value to the one that you like. I will write 2.3 because that value works for me. Well I just rhymed. Now if you hit play you can see everything works fine. So let's just set up our joystick in our movement script or any controller script that you have. So go to that script and at the top make a reference to our joystick script by writing joystick script joystick and in front of it write serialized field. Back in Unity, in the empty joystick section drag and drop your joystick background image because that is where your joystick script is located. Now back in script, this is the direction of value that makes the player in this code move in a certain direction. So this means in my case if I just control this value then I can control my player. But for you it might be something different but for me this is it and I just have to go to the player control function and here write if joystick dot input direction is not equal to vector2.0 which means even if I slightly move the joystick then this code will be executed. Then inside the bracket write direction is equal to input direction and save this and now when you hit play and click on the joystick and drag around you can see it works and you can also hook it up to your unity remote and see that it works on your phone as well so thank you for watching till the end about 62 percent of the viewers in my channel do not subscribe so please hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to never miss the latest video it may not mean anything to you but means a lot for me and thank you for watching